a lot of our friends are dead because of just Russians decide to do that. $200 can help us to win the war. Of course, it would be great to get this kind of help. Just imagine the thousands of drones at the same time is going to the enemy. What can they do? Nothing. Just nothing. My name is Alexey Asanov and uh, uh, I'm one of the owner of the couple of uh, volunteering initiatives uh, in Ukraine. We are making uh, drones, we're teaching how to control the drones and to use them on the battlefield. The drones can help win this war. It's very difficult to, to imagine how this can help, but uh, trust me, <laughs> this can help. FPV stands for first person view. It's a drone that is flown with an RC controller and goggles, kind of like the virtual reality goggles. FPV drones normally, um, outside of the context of war, uh, are used as kind of like hobby drones. Um, I know they do a lot of like FPV drone racing. In Ukraine, FPV drones are mainly being used as kind of like a kamikaze platform. They're cheap, and they're fast, and you can hit targets that are much more expensive than the drone that they're using to destroy them with. So you're talking about, you know, million dollar vehicles that you're destroying with something that costs you $500. Then only yesterday we had the result of uh, usage of FPV drone that was made by our student. He used the FPV to destroy T-19, uh, the most cool Russian tank. Not so cool now. Not so cool now. And, uh, Probably we will destroy all <laughs> their t 19 This is the war of technology. And at, uh, at this step, the FPV seems like a very good idea to use. And Russia is doing this? Well, as far as I see, they are driving us, I would even say, not with 7-mile steps, but with 100-kilometer steps. They believed in the drones, they closed the factories, the manufacturing. Вони мобілізували інженерів, вони завезли просто якісь незліченні кількості комплектуючих з Китаю. У них Китай ближче, зв'язки з Китаєм краще. FPV налагодили цілі заводи, виготовляють по тисячі, по дві тисячі вже партії. Зараз так само наші бійці це відчувають, як у нас влітають FPV. В кожній бойовій бригаді воїни серед перших питань ставлять питання про безпілотники. Дрони – це гарантія, що людям не доведеться платити життям, коли можна спрацювати безпілотниками. In terms of supply, I think Ukrainians are always going to want more, especially if they can find a way to manufacture them cheaper. I think that they're not going to run out of a need for them um, anytime soon. We have launched a new project. It, uh, it's named uh, Social Drone Yo. If the civilian in United States, Canada, or, or in Europe uh, could decide that he would, uh, he want to help us, uh, we can provide with any information he need. How to order the parts, how to transform them into the drone. We can provide the help via Skype or Zoom. We can make everything from our side to, to help them, help us. Could anyone do it with instructions, or do, do you need to be an engineer? Three months ago, I didn't know nothing about the FPV drones. Uh, now <laughs> I can do everything. So in my opinion, yes, everybody who can at least solder could make this drone. Just follow the instruction and make the drone. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I mean, the monies and the labor are always going to be needed here. So it definitely makes sense to me to kind of bring in that you know, whole of uh, society and bring this, like people who are at home who want to help and, you know, give them the opportunity to participate in this larger effort. And yeah, I think it, it would probably have a pretty big impact. Just imagine the like thousands of drones at the same time is going to the enemy. What can they do? Nothing, just nothing. Okay, the half of them would be put it uh, on the ground. Okay, 500 left. 
500 of these <clears throat> in a very good control so we can fly exactly at this point and 500 of them. This makes sense.